and then the blue mosque. The blue mosque, yep. Yes. Istiklal Street. Taksim Square is behind me there. Got a pomegranate juice. And I'm going to walk in the direction of the Blue Mosque, the most famous mosque of Istanbul, and show you the sights along the way, which are going to be really freaking cool. Here we go. Galata Tower, this way. That is the Galata Tower, about 700 years old, and you can go up to the top, get some great views, but I'm not in the uh, mood for the tourist line and everything, all the hassle, so uh, I'm just going to keep on walking, because there is so much to see of Istanbul, and this is going to be a fun walk getting to the Blue Mosque. It's quite a ways, but a really nice walk. Check out these guys. And so you can see people up there at the top. And so this is the line to go up the tower, so no thanks. And so this is my second time to Istanbul. I was last here nine years ago in 2009. And so I have 
a bit of a uh, handle of the city and where to go. So it's going to be a walk uh, down these narrow lanes and then walking across a uh, waterway with lots of fishermen and then get onto the other side of Istanbul not the Asian side, you gotta take a boat to go over there but the side with uh, the Blue Mosque and the Hagia Sophia Here it opens up at the uh, bridge going over the water there and you can see mosques in the distance. I don't think either of those are the blue mosques though. And then go under the uh, street right here. And so all these fishermen lined up along this bridge. And then out here is the Bosphorus, which connects the Black Sea with the Sea of Marmara, which uh, then flows into the Aegean Sea, and all these Greek islands are, are uh, like out that way, I guess. And so this right here is kind of a little inlet that then flows into the Bosphorus, the uh, waterway out there that connects the Black Sea and the Sea of Marmara. Quite a uh, spectacular scene. various other places you can access by boat, including the Asian side of the uh, city. And so this is the European side of Istanbul. Istanbul and Turkey basically straddles Europe and the Middle East, or Asia if you prefer. And so Romania and Bulgaria are out that way, I guess. Greece, out that way. And then the Black Sea up there and Armenia, and Georgia. What a sight. Things are pretty crazy. I was talking to someone who was saying that the city is especially overcrowded because of Syrian refugees. There's that many that they're really just converging on the city.
So this is the Aia Sophia, another long line which I will probably avoid. The Aia Sophia was constructed in 537 AD as a Greek Orthodox cathedral. This region of Turkey, what is now Turkey, was previously Greek. I've been to Greek ruins in Turkey on my last visit. Greece actually occupied uh, regions far even further than here. I've been to uh, Greek churches in Jordan earlier this year. But this area was of course taken over by the Muslims and this was then converted into a mosque. And it is now a museum. Almost 1500 years old. And that is the Blue Mosque. What a beautiful day, nice and warm. I'll see about maybe going inside the Blue Mosque. Hopefully not quite as uh, bad of a line. And so I have a photo of me from when I was here in 2009, taken right in this uh, area somewhere. Are you interested in candy craft? It's like carpet, scarf, jewelry. No, I'm not. I'm not buying anything. If you want, I can show you how you go mosque. You make the video my shops. Well, I'm going to uh, go inside the mosque first. Where is the shop? Come I show you, and then you go entrance. From here. Well, I will. I will come down later. It's it's just down this come way. Come, I show you entrance. When you finish the mosque, you show me. Yeah, I show you where we are. One second. All right. There's the Aya Sophia. Yes. That's and then the blue mosque. The blue mosque, yep. Yes. And that's about 400 years old, yeah? yes. This is 1600, this is the 400. Yeah. This is the tomb of Sultan Ahmed. Yeah. I see. Uh, this is the school place. It was people are going to school before there. I see. And this like is a madrasa? This, yes, madrasa. This yeah. is the Turkish bath. Oh, this is a hammam. Hammam. Yeah. You go hammam. I haven't been yet, but you have to go. I need to go. Yeah. Uh, come, I show you how you go entrance. Maybe we sell you on carpet. And so it says the mosque is closed to visitors right now, but apparently it's going to open up soon. Let's see here. In 20 minutes it opens. I see. Okay. I can show you where we are. You can come after 20 minutes here. I think I will relax here for a little bit first and then... Do, do you have a card or something? I don't have it in my shop. It's two minutes now. But you're not going to see what kind of get though. You can't only. Where have you Mosque is still uh, through there.
And so that is the prayer entrance for Muslims and the visitor's entrance over here. Santorini. I was just there like two months ago. My shirt, Matala, is a beach on the island of Crete in Greece. And then check out some of the other things to see in Turkey. Pamukle. I was there on my uh, last trip. This area is known as Pamukale in uh, western central Turkey. And it's a uh, area of geologic, uh, I don't know what you'd say, but hot water comes out of the ground and then it creates all these uh, pools and everything. The substance is known as travertine. Cappadocia, I went there on my last trip. Hey everybody, I'm uh, hanging out in Cappadocia in western Turkey. It's a beautiful uh, morning, December 8th or 9th or something. Wanted to catch the sunrise. Ephesus, have not been there. Blue Cruise. Troy, that would be really cool to see. Bethie, Antalya. And Trabzon, haven't heard of that. A lot to see in Turkey.
I didn't have a uh, card for the tram thing there, so I couldn't get on. You have to buy one in advance, so walking back, go find some good Turkish food. I've got a pepper steak here. This looks amazing. What's your name, bro? Shahim. Shahim. Yes. Nice restaurant. Thank you. My second time coming back. I know. I, I remember the first. Yeah. Cool. Okay. okay, thank you. 